Today we're going to be covering how to quickly, easily, and cheaply clean your flat screen TVs or your computer monitors. Uh, the same method will work for pretty much any screen you have. It's safe, it's effective, and it'll cost way less than you buying one of the uh, many kits that are out there for doing this. Uh, you're going to need a few things. First off, uh, cleaning cloths. Uh, there's a bunch of different kinds you can grab. Uh, these are the kinds that usually come with eyeglasses. Uh, they're a flatter texture, don't absorb water quite as well. Uh, then there's the kinds that have a higher pile like this. They're both microfiber, but they're a little bit different. These are more absorbent, they're better for the wet cleaning stage that we'll show you. And then there's even things like this, which are cleaning pads that have a hard back and a microfiber pad on the front for you to clean with. Any one of those should work fine for this process. Uh, the next thing you'll need is your cleaning fluid, which is actually just plain distilled water. Uh, a jug like this will cost you a dollar or two, and it'll probably get through, through dozens, if not hundreds of cleanings, and it's all you really need. Uh, the only thing that you might want is if you have a particularly stubborn spot, you can grab a very mild dish soap and put one or two drops in a bottle around this size, which is what we'll be using today, to clean your screens but that probably isn't even necessary. So next up, we'll be turning off the monitor and getting to work. All right, now that we've got the monitor off, you can see a little bit better the dust and smudges that are on it from just daily use. Um, I have some bright lights aimed directly at it, which is helpful in this so that you can see where the dust is and what spots you may have missed. So you may want to uh, get as many lights as you can aimed right at your screen or monitor uh, before cleaning. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is dust. Now to do that, you just grab one of the cloths that I mentioned earlier, and then just gently, without too much pressure, start dusting the screen. Just gentle strokes across it until you get off as much dust as you can. Don't go too hard, and if you see a stubborn spot, don't try to get it off at this stage. You want to get off all the dust before the wet cleaning so that you're not grinding any grit into the display and risking scratching your TV or monitor. Now we'll come back in a second when this is done and we'll start the wet cleaning process. All right, now that the dusting is finished, uh, if you're lucky enough that you don't have any smudges or fingerprints on your monitor, you could actually stop right there. Uh, if there's still any um, smudges, fingerprints, or stubborn debris on your TV or display, uh, you can move on to the next part of the process, which is wet cleaning. Uh, for that, we'll need the distilled water that I mentioned and a fresh cloth. Uh, now you'll want to squirt a little bit of the water into the cloth. Try to cup your hand because microfiber cloths aren't very absorbent naturally, so the water may beat up and run off. What you'll want to do is squirt it into the cloth and then squeeze the cloth a little bit to get it to absorb. You want your cloth slightly damp. You don't want it dripping and you don't want it too dry because either will hinder your process of cleaning your monitor or TV. Once you have it decently damp but not dripping, something like this, you can get the wet portion and start working on any parts of your monitor that look smudged. Go slowly, make small, light strokes, and just keep working at it until you get rid of whatever's there. If there's a stubborn spot, try using the dish detergent that we mentioned earlier. And if it still won't come off, then just leave your cloth on it for a moment like this, let it sit, try to dampen the spot so that it will come off more easily, and start wiping again. Eventually, anything that's on the screen should come off with this process. You don't need any harsh chemicals, you don't need any scrubbing pads, and you never want to use anything that could be abrasive on your screen because it will damage it. We're going to uh, stop there for a moment and let me finish this process, and then we'll be right back. All right, now that you're done with the wet cleaning process, the next step you want to take is actually to turn your monitor back on. Uh, the reason for this is because having the monitor lit actually helps you see if there's any spots that are still wet. Uh, if you use a light background like this, you can see a little bit of rainbowing like that if there's still a wet spot. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up, but you can see it right there. And if everything looks dry, you don't see any of that, you're done right there. If not, you can just take a fresh dry cloth and wipe whatever spots to look a little bit damp. And once you're done with that, you're good to go. Your monitor should be nice and clean now.